Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. Hey folks, I thought it'd be fun to do a little unboxing of this ink crate that I just got here. This is the second one that they've sent out. Uh, this one I paid for. I uh, was going to stop the subscription and then I didn't. So uh, we have this ink crate here. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Looks like an uh, interesting set of colors. All right, so uh, late August ink crate. Try to do a back to school theme with this one. Two black and two blues, Arctic blue being the winner. Uh, included tomato red. That's cool. Apple glory. All right, that's interesting. All right, so let's take a look at these guys. And as before, five samples of ink. And let's see. About, yeah, about two ounces. So they're about the same as a Goulet ink sample. Uh, less than an Anderson pens, that kind of stuff. But there you go. That's, uh, oh, oh, besides Kruznak. Oh, cool. So I actually haven't tried this ink before. So uh, this is one that I'm excited to try. I've got one Sites Kruznak ink, and it's this like um, dark violet or something like that, or dark, is that right? Dark violet? Dark orchid? I don't know, something like that. Anyway, it's a very nice purple color, so this is cool. Tomato red, all right, looking forward to that. And we've got uh, Diamine Apple Glory. I've definitely got this one. I don't know if I've ever used it, though. I'm pretty sure I have it as a sample. Let's see if this is one of the scented ones. Hold on while I smell it. Mm, nope, not scented, so that's good. Some of those Diamine scented inks are pretty uh, pretty seriously scented. I know sandalwood stunk up my pen for a long time, and I like sandalwood. Oh, cool, another site's cruise dock, so awesome. Uh, Arctic blue is this color. I'm really looking forward to that as well. Look at that, very cool. All right. Uh, Diamine denim. Another one I'm not entirely sure if I've tried. Sometimes when you've used a few hundred inks, you kind of forget about what you've uh, already done. So, uh, dark denim. Neat. All right. That's cool. Let's look at what the last one is here. This is, oh, Aurora Black. This is kind of a, uh, uh, this is a staple of anybody's ink collection. You should definitely have Aurora, Aurora Black. It is not my favorite black for general use because it tends to run a little bit wet. And so, um, you know, I have a little bit of an issue with it uh, doing some more bleeding and feathering than I prefer. Uh, but if you have a pen that you're not entirely sure if it works or if you just got a bad mix with a pen, Always try Aurora Black in that pen. This is a little uh, pro tip because if you have a, a new pen and you haven't put many inks through it, you don't really know what's going on with the nib and feed and the ink and all that kind of jazz. So it might just be a dry pen, in which case uh, Aurora Black will work in that pen. Also, it's totally safe for all your, um, you know, your vintage pens and all that jazz. So this is a, a really good ink to have in your collection. If you don't have this one, definitely get some Aurora Black and add that to your collection. All right, so... Uh, let me redo my camera setup right quick, and then I'll do, uh, I'll do swatches. So there we go. Hold on. All right, so I'm just going to start with the first one I picked up, which actually happens to be the Sites Kruznak uh, Tomato Red. So let's see how this goes. Using a new and different letter opener. Look at that. It's like a cavalry saber. All right. There's a nice little drop. All right. Yeah, that's a cool red. I dig that. All right. Let's get a little closer to the lens if I can. Yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful red. Like a very bright red. Cool. Very cool. All right. I got to get some more of that Sykes Cruise Dock. It's a German brand. And you can find it on, um, on Amazon, I think, and maybe on eBay. But I really haven't seen it too many other places. I don't think they have very many places that uh, sell it in the U.S. Maybe zero. All right, Diamine Apple Glory is next. You got a little bit of green on there. Sometimes inks don't have the kind of surface tension that allows them to stick to a uh, letter opener. And that can be a little frustrating to do these swabs with. But this one worked out just fine. So that's Apple Glory, which is a very bright green. Not highlighter bright, not light enough to be, or not too light so that you can't use it. I think that's going to be a very cool usable ink. Uh, this might be a, I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad now that I didn't uh, pull the plug on Ink Crate. I was going to, not because I don't like the service. I think the service is very cool, but uh, just because I have hundreds of inks and uh, like, ah, eh, they're not going to find me anything I don't have. Well, I guess they did. They've definitely found a couple that I don't have, so that's neat. All right, Aurora Black. Of course, is a very deep black. 
not maybe the darkest black on the block. That's probably going to go to one of the Noodler's blacks. Uh, at least probably. There we go. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Or maybe it is. Yeah, this is super dark. Yeah, so pretty dark. I know uh, I've heard that Noodler's uh, Borealis is supposed to be uh, their attempt to make a uh, an Aurora Black clone. I don't know if that's true or not, so don't quote me on it. That's, a, that's the rumor on the block. Alright, let's move in just a little bit more. Yeah, still good. Alright, cool. So, this is going to be Sights Cruise Knock Arctic Blue. Yeah, a little bit of blue there. This is a bright, uh, light, bright blue. Very cool. All right. So sometimes when I do chromatographies, you may have seen there's always this like bright blue band at the top, and I'm always like, I want that blue. That might be what this is actually. Just a very bright blue. Kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Sailor Souten maybe a little bit. Although it doesn't look like it's gonna sheen or anything, so it doesn't look like it's gonna be, uh, you know. A really fancy blue, just kind of a nice electric blue. All right, I don't know about Arctic. It seems more electric than Arctic, but uh, what do I know about the Arctic? And the last one is Diamine Denim, which seems very cool. Let's see, I love a good denim-y color. There are some really good uh, Noodlers colors that are denim-ish. Some of them even sort of mimic the feel, I think, of denim. Uh, like they've got that kind of uh, kind of matte touch to them, like Luxury Blue or um, uh, Upper Ganges Blue always makes me think of denim. This is a very dark denim. This is actually like the kind of wash I like on denim, I think, actually, these days, which is a very dark sort of uh, sort of wash. This is a very purpley sort of dark blue. Yeah, purpley? Yeah, it looks a little bit purpley to me. Anyway, that's cool. This is a very nice selection of colors. Well done, Ink Crate. And uh, there you go. So that's the Ink Crate unboxing for this month. This is August 2016, the uh, second Ink Crate that uh, has come through. So there you go. All right, so that's it. I'm Mike. This is Ink Dependence, and this has been an Ink Crate unboxing. Peace out, y'all.